Today, all over the country, is signing day, and I guarantee you it is one the town of Bemidji won't soon forget. Earlier this afternoon, five Bemidji High Lumberjack football players signed letters of intent to play college football for Bemidji State University. Now sure, the parents of these kids are happy, but how about their high school football coach? Uh, I'm so excited for these kids, and, and you, you, you get so close to them and attached to to these kids that you hate to see them leave and in a sense they're not leaving now they're going to be playing uh, the next day so when when we finish the game on Friday night the first thing we usually talk about uh, or one of the things that we bring up is hey you got free tickets to the BSU game if you want to go and and I think uh, you're going to get a much better turnout next year and the years to come with uh, these five individuals playing on Saturday. The five Lumberjacks who will soon become Bemidji State Beavers are Eddie Acosta, Paul Culligan, Jeff Anderson, Ryan Welly and Mike Fogelson. News of these athletes staying close to home was not only exciting for their families, but also the Bemidji State University coaching staff. Well, that's our goal every year with recruiting is to start right in our own backyard and, and check out the, the local high school. And if we can get those guys, uh, it's just going to help with the community involvement, fans in the stands and those types of things. So what is it about BSU that attracts the Lumberjacks and makes them want to be a part of the program? It was just the impression I got from the coaches as far as, you know, they're committed to winning and what they're doing is very classy, I think. And when we went there, I, we were treated really well, and I just I saw a lot of good things with the program. I was really excited about attending the place. The fact that the Beaver football team has turned their program around and is now developing a winning tradition was also important to the Lumberjacks. That's probably one of the biggest key, you know, because... You know, we've, we've been through the time, you know, where we had to turn a program around our junior years and then come back our senior years and turn it into an A&2 program. You know, and it was just real nice to step into a winning program and just keep that tradition going. Aside from the luxury of a great coaching staff and a winning program at BSU, these Lumberjacks like the idea of seeing a lot more of their family and friends for four more years. I don't see how we could play without each other because it's kind of a bond we got. It's great to me. It means a lot to be playing with some people I already played with in the past. Well, I've always thought about going there ever since I was little because my dad went there a year and I just always thought about going there and then I figured I'd want to see my brother go through high school sports. I knew if I was out of town that I wouldn't get to do that and that's it's important to me and all my, a lot of my friends are going there you know and it just looks like a real good program. As far as Bemidji State's concerned, they know they're getting a group of guys who will only add to the talent of their team. We were lucky before if we could find a, a decent starting 22 out there, and now we've got competition and maybe a little bit more depth. We fought that at Bemidji the first three years, and I think hopefully we'll, our talent will rise and also maybe we'll have a, ability to get too deep, which you need to be a to championship football team. So I think our numbers will be up next year and our talent level will also be up. So what next for these future BSU Beavers? To show their fans they can play every bit as good on Saturday afternoons as they did on Friday nights.